Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hope everyone's having a great day. It's your boy Pedro Bear 97 coming at you with another Honest Wax review. On today's sesh, we have some more of the Punch Extracts Live Rock. Specifically, we have the Tier 2 Fresca Melon, yo. Sheesh. Uh, the Fresca Melon is a cross between watermelon Skittles and peach rings. Now those sound extremely terp. You got the watermelon, you got the peach. Uh, Skittles kind of goes in hand in hand with the candy, obviously. Um, and peach rings are a candy themselves. So I'm expecting to have some kind of, I don't want to expect a candy taste, but I'm expecting to have a decent amount of uh, flavor in terms of the fruits that are present, the watermelon and the peach. I'm not sure if I will get that because, you know, a lot of strain names are usually just like buzzwordy and don't actually reflect the exact taste that it's trying to describe but that being said i'm sure this is going to be a nice one this was packaged uh in december of last year and it is now february so it's only been chilling for like a month and a half must be a popular strain uh thc is reaching 71.01 percent or 710 mill milligrams that's nice right uh 0.0 percent cbd with a total cannabinoid count of 75 percent or 750 milligrams not too sure what to do with the milligram count number but it's there for a reason right let's go ahead and crack this open and pull this out Ooh, this has some nice colors it's got some orange some some green and some yellow punch extracts cross with valley grove small batch fresca melon this looks really nice on the bottom looks a little bit glossy transparent syrupy as compared to some of the batters you might have seen on the strain on this panel but yeah, we had to use our nail, cut that open. One thing I've been having a problem with the punch extracts is sometimes they kind of lock up and you kind of have to like squeeze it off, the, the lid off somehow. You kind of have to like edge it around and whatnot. Kind of bullshit. I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to get into your concentrates. I always make the joke if I was an older man or older woman with more frailer hands, it would be impossible to break the stickering on this. That's why I rub, rub my nail through the, the cut line. I'm not sure if everyone thinks like that or is this, or is like efficient when it comes to that or if they choose to struggle and fight against all the tension there. Um, but th those are ridiculously hard to open sometimes. And right now I had a very easy time opening this, but I've I have ran into a couple uh containers that, you know, push down all you want. All you're going to hear is uh that over and over again, no matter what. And when that happens, you kind of have to like lift it up and uh, tilt it over in a specific way it's kind of ridiculous um, so i'm not sure if you know punch wants to you know get some better containers but it would make their customers happier let's go ahead and open this up though this looks extremely nice very bubbly wow that smells really good i'm not gonna lie yo after reading that watermelon skills and peach rings are part of this i was expecting to uh get something that that you know didn't smell as attractive as this like the citrus terps are here they're speaking that's good i'm i'm like just off all of that citrus i'm already going to detect that this is going to be a sativa leaning hybrid could be wrong though but no these terps are definitely talking that's why we're wearing our talking terps today as always see there's talking terps or flatbush am i right but no let's go ahead and cut this uh, again this looks really nice really nice color nice bubbles and the, the bubbles look so nice i don't know why but the bubbles look really nice to me now this is looking a little bit more cloudier than the camera is picking up it looks really nice, really yellow, but uh, there is sometimes a bit more transparent waxes, and this one is a little bit foggy. And it sucks my camera won't ever pick it up how I want it to. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's take ourselves a nice dab, enjoy our day off, and uh, let's see what the feelings this thing can create. Thank you so much for watching these videos, by the way. I appreciate you greatly, and thank you so much for being a badass for you know? <clears throat> one thing i noticed with some of these strains that look like this is that or the texture is that sometimes the, the wax is not as soft as it looks sometimes it is like glass rock hard or some shit like that i don't know but this one is actually a little bit smoother we got a nice dab right here at the end of our dabber and yeah we're ready to to go to the moon so yeah. thank you so much for watching these videos if you like what you see make sure you leave a comment like make sure you suggest what kind of brands or strains you want me to try next or what other content creation you guys would like to see from this kind of channel uh until then keep on keeping on let's fucking go globs away cheers
Ooh, that was a good fucking dab right there, yo. Ooh, herbs, amazing. For a tier two, I forgot to mention, it's not a tier one, it's not a tier three or four, it's a tier two. So it's like right under the best, above the cheaper stuff. Uh, but the Terps, definitely talking. I feel like I got a nice uh, citrusy. Uh, I'm not sure if it was like a tangerine or more on the peach side. I feel like it was a little bit more in juice tangerine. But that was a really nice dab in terms of the taste. If I had to rate this gram of wax, let's go ahead and start with the appearance. Now, I love when it looks syrupy, a little bit liquidy, and transparent -y. I like these textures a lot. This reminds me heavily of bubble hash rosin. It might be that. I'm not too sure. I just know Punch Extracts makes some fire ass live rosin. That being said, we're going to go ahead and give this rating a 9 out of 10. The only reason it didn't get a 10 out of 10 is just because it was a little bit cloudy. I have seen some other waxes that I could completely see through no cloud. And for that reason, because I know it exists, we're going to be a little bit piggy or a little bit strict on that rating just for the appearance. In terms of flavoring, taste, I feel like. The taste matches the smell. Damn near perfect. Um, I might get like a... This reminds me a little bit of the Amarillo number nine. And a little bit of the fruit and fruit. I'm getting a little mix of those uh, flavorful tastes. That being said, that's a really good taste. So we're going to rate this a 10 out of 10. And the smell matches it as well. So that's a 10 out of 10 in the smell too. So with the with the appearance of nine, smell and taste of 10 each. Potency, we're going to rate this. This is a really good... This, I feel like this is a really good sativa. Uh, it might be a hybrid. I might be getting a little bit lazy in the next 10, 15 minutes. Um, but that being said, for the sativa aspect of it, I feel pretty awakened right now, not too lazy. So if you got some productive stuff you need to do throughout the day, maybe you want to go to the gym, maybe you got to go to work. This might be one of those strains that you might try to kind of uh, give you that little energy boost. Now, again, this might be a little bit hybrid. I do feel like my head is getting a little bit heavier the more I talk as time goes on. So. There's that, but yeah, potency, we're gonna rate this um, for a tier two, yo. We're gonna rate this a 10 out of 10, yo. That was really good. And that being said, with all these, like, I'm becoming a Punch Extract fanboy, as you guys might have noticed through all these videos. I've been reviewing them heavy, and they just seem to get better and better every single time, so. It's really rare that you run into a gram of wax by Punch Extracts that you do not enjoy. That being said, this this was a good one. Overall, for this gram of wax, is going to be a 10 out of 10. That being said, if you run into the Fresca Melon by Punch Extracts, I really, really recommend you try it out. It's got some pretty nice terps, pretty, pretty flavorful uh, punches, all in the citrus field for those that enjoy the citrus taste when it comes to weed and wax. And yeah, this wasn't that expensive. I always stock up on Fridays, take advantage of the deals. Why pay, why pay full price when I know I could just go on a Friday and get that 30% off? You feel me? And so that being said, uh, this was not that expensive. This was about 30 bucks, I think, 40 bucks. Yeah, I would definitely I would definitely grab this again for myself. I would definitely recommend this again, just to reiterate that. And yeah, that's basically it for the Fresca Melon Live Rosin by Punch Extract. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos. Make sure you uh, connect with my link tree in bio below that has my TikTok, my Twitch, my Twitter. Instagram everywhere, all my socials in one place. And yeah, that's basically all Pedro Bear has to say for this. So thank you so much for supporting and keep on keeping on in the free world. Your boy Pedro Bear is out.